to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of trouble, and by opposing, end them, to die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache, and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to, tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep perchance to dream, aye, there's the rub, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor is wrong. The proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, Spurs of patient merit of unworthy takes. When he himself might his quietest make with a bad bodkin, who would these far drells bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country, from whose born no traveler returns, that puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to those we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all. Thus the native hue of resolution is slicked over with the pale cast of thought, and enterprises of great pith and moment, with this regard their business turns awry and lose the name of action. Soft you now, the fair Ophelia, nymph in thy orisons, be all my sins remembered.